or the class A. All right, well, we're gonna take a look here at the word C. We're on Wiktionary.org, and we're gonna just look at the. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just look at this this page here of what the word C means in other languages. In Spanish, C means yes, or when it's written without the accent, C means if. C with the accent means yes. C without the accent means if. So, what do we have here? In Asturian, Asturian is a language that is one of the languages of Spain, uh, besides Spanish. Remember we did the Spain, uh, Spani uh, Spain region project. So let's let's look there. Let's see what we got. So in Asturian, the etymology, meaning the history of the word, comes from the Latin word seek. I think that's how you say it. Um, we can ask Mr. Bracy. And then C means yes, word used to indicate agreement or acceptance. So very similar to Spanish. It's identical, right? Okay, let's look at the word C in Catalan. Catala. This is also a regional language of Spain, primarily in like Bar Barcelona. Um, and also comes from the Latin seek. Seek. I think that's how you say it. And what does it mean? C means yes as an affirmation commonly used to respond affirmatively to a question. Okay. Um, yeah, so same thing. What else do we have here? Uh, as an adverb, C means opposite of not. And here's some catala. No parles catala. Si parlo catala. Do you, sp do you not speak Catalan? 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 I do speak Catalan. Cool. Wow. Let's see what this says. C is used to add positive emphasis to the verb, much like the auxiliary, auxiliary do in affirmative sentences in English. Right? Just like that example, it generally contrasts with a previous no and is placed in the same location within the sentence. This is a usage the word shares with Spanish. Okay? And... Faroese, which I believe, according to my um, research here, is a Old Norse language up there in uh, Scandinavia. So not much in common with Spanish, which um, means behold, according to this. Okay, and, and, and wow, Hungarian. And what's interesting about Hungarian is that it is a language isolate, meaning it doesn't have any ties, really, t uh, to any mother language, much like, you know, uh, Spanish, Italian, French share ties with Latin. They call from, come from Latin. Hungarian is one of the few, just like Basque, actually, that is a language isolate. But let's take a look here. And um, etymology is borrowed from the German uh, ski, which means ski. Um, and let's see, it means to ski. C means to ski, I guess, in Hungarian. Wow. So cool. All right. Let's look at Icelandic. I actually went to... Okay, hold on. I actually went to Iceland um, back in 2016, and it was amazing. But didn't know that C apparently was an adverb used only in set phrases. <clears throat> um, means... Always, permanently, continually. Wow, great. What about in Irish or Gaelic? Um, or we can maybe um, see what what do we have here from Middle Irish side, from Old Irish seed. It means fairy mound. From Proto Celtic sedos, sedos, mound inhabited by fairies. Wow, who would have thought? Um, yeah. Etymology too. It it could also mean she or it, referring to a feminine noun. Wow. Look how much we're learning here. I'm learning this too. 
thanks guys okay in mandarin which is the uh which is chinese it's the uh, more common i guess dialect of chinese alongside cantonese um i'm not even gonna really try to understand what this is saying so um let's check out old irish uh she um she means she such as in these um in this example here we can maybe check with mr hall um on on gaelic um in an old irish that's awesome and now to espanol or spanish look at this we got so much comes from latin seek c means yes affirmation commonly used to respond affirmatively to a question Usage note, as an affirmation, this term has in Spanish a usage that is not usually explicitly translated into English. Since it could sound like a pleonasm, being that positively, affirmatively, and always, and always related to a negation, explicit or not. El si puede, no yo. He, yes, can, I cannot. This example, esto sí es una fiesta. This sure is a party. So obviously it means yes, both of these other these other uses. This is what I call a party according to this um, Wikipedia page. And what else do we have? No sabemos si es sostenible, pero lo que sí sabemos es que funciona muy bien. No sabemos si es sostenible, pero lo que sí sabemos es que funciona muy bien. We don't know if it's sustainable, but... What we do know is that it works very well. So here we have C as meaning if, and then we have it here as an affirmation. Synonyms, claro, por supuesto. Claro means clear, like yes, C. Si. Por supuesto means for sure. Simón, colloquial, in Mexico and Gu in Guatemala, Mexico, Guatemala. And sip is colloquial. In Colombia, actually, they, instead of saying C, si, or not instead of saying C, si, but alongside saying C, si, they say seep or sipi or sisas. Sisas is um, what the young crowd says in Medellin when they're trying to be cool and hip. And all right. C si also means in Spanish himself, herself, itself, para si. Um, for himself, herself, itself, themselves, yourself, yourselves. The form of say, just like the reflexive pronoun used after prepositions. Another use of that. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let's see what we got going on. And I have a clip of me saying C. And there we go. Now I'm going to take that and we're going to drag it into here and then we're going to see how how we can make this the deepest C or whatever. C, 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 C. We can reverse it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> C, C, C. All right. We're going to pitch shift this, change the pitch of this. We'll, we're going to drag it a little bit here. C. Okay, drag it a little bit more to the left. C. Okay, drag it more. C. 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 And we're going to keep going. C. C. I'm gonna make this full screen. Nope, never mind. C. We're we're changing it down six semitones now. Seis. C. Okay. C. 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 
Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? But whatever. Okay. Yep. Okay. <sighs> you know what? Here. Okay. This video is over. There we go. That's all I'm doing. There we go. There we go.